Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode. Today I'm taking a little break from the Wizard Build series, and I'm just showing off my great-grandfather's ride-on lawnmower. From what I can understand from what my grandparents told me, this was bought in 1970 at a local store near where I live. And uh, it's been sitting in the barn, just right over there in that middle section by that window. It's been sitting in there for almost my entire life, and like two years ago, I decided to bring it out and see if I could get it running. All it needed was a new coil for the magneto. Other than that, everything else was just kind of seized up. So I got that all running, and today I'm moving it from the barn to the garage. So let's see if we can get started up and moved. Now this has a pretty generic startup. It has a little brass fuel valve right under the gas tank. Which, the entire dirt core covering gas tank, it's all one part, which I found interesting when I was working on it. But I just have to wait a few minutes, or wait a little while for that to turn on. Set the throttle to any position that's not stop. You only have start, fast, slow, and stop. I never put it to start just because it revs up to the moon and back as soon as it starts, so. Just gonna let it sit for a second. It is a three speed transmission manual. Pretty fun to drive, and it cuts grass amazingly. 10 horsepower engine, from what I can tell. That's why I don't put it to start because it does that. Journey for this year is complete. 
made it over to the garage without any issue, and they'll stay here all winter until it's time to mow next summer. And I'm sure it'll start up just as easily next time. I think it has a small gas leak. There's less gas in it than what I put in a while ago, but that's fine. All the stickers keep hands and feet clear, like anybody's ever going to do that. Warnings, safety, mowing speed, throttle. You don't even have a kill switch, it just says stop. Just set it to that whenever you want. You have a shift pattern up here, so that's pretty cool. And you have the shifter down here. Now, I don't know what kind of transmission this is. I don't know who made it or what brand did. Uh, the engine's a Briggs & Stratton, but we had another one of these upstairs in the barn. There was half a frame to this, and the transmission was still on it. Identical transmission. It was just yellow. So I don't know what brand it is. Engine is Briggs and Stratton. Caution, gear shift must be in neutral before pulling starter. Doesn't have to be, but you can if you want. That's the place. As soon as I got this running, the one guy that could have told me any information on this died like a week before. So that's a shame. I went through the carburetor. Works just fine. Original fuel line. Questionable quality. Little fuel valve, a little dark. The seat has a rip in it, but all of this, it looked just the same when I pulled it out the barn. My grandfather modified it and put a little fuel bottle on top. Well, on the front. This is a clutch slash parking brake. It just says push to stop on it, which if you push in, it disengages the transmission. Uh, and it puts in the brakes. Underneath, I don't know if you can really see, but no, it's too dark. But it's just a series of belts. There's only two. You have the belt for the uh, blades, which if I move this lever, it drops that forwards and it tensions the belt. Both of the belts are new because both of them snapped while I was using this. Because I still use this as a regular mower. It's my favorite one. It's fun to drive. Uh, as you can see from the video, it does jump a little bit. That's just from the governor. I probably could go through the carb again and make it better, but it's not necessary. Overall, it is a fun little, fun little machine to drive. I like it. And it was orange originally. Because I noticed that the paint was chipping, but I'm not sure if it was repainted or if it was, like, that's a primer of some sort. Who knows? Still fun, though. Hope you enjoyed this quick little video. Quick little update from uh, the last video, which would have been the new pull start. I was driving to school the next day, and uh, the seal on the starter clutch blew out. It did quite a bit of damage to itself. Uh, it looks a little bit torn up on the inside. The adapter piece is broke off completely, the little rod it runs on. And uh, I was late for school, so that's annoying. Nothing I built was destroyed, though. That's fine. That's fine. The adapter was damaged, but can be reused, so the old starter's back on. It was fun while it lasted, but didn't last long. So, see you next time.